sorry, pal. We'll see you soon. <laughs> no, I don't want to say goodbye. Yo, what is up there, guys? It's the Wiz back at it again for another Kingdom Hearts video slash news discussion right here, right now. So let's get right to it. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Kingdom Hearts will officially be taking a bit of a hiatus, going to be on a little break, but will be coming back full swing in 2022. After all, 2022 is going to be a very big year for the Kingdom Hearts series as it is going to be the 20th anniversary anniversary of Kingdom Hearts and the Mora is fully aware of this him and his team have already begun to work on something pretty big now what could that really big something be who knows maybe it's going to be the next installment within the Kingdom Hearts series maybe it's gonna be that Verum Rex game maybe it's gonna be the Sora and Riku game maybe it's gonna be a Disney Plus series that is actually canon or maybe it's gonna be a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross remastered version for home consoles because to be honest there's a lot of important lore and to just keep Keep it on a mobile game is pretty criminal and seeing as how these guys like to package all the games in one thing over and over again it seems like maybe that would be something that they would do oh but i guarantee you 100 we are going to be getting like a full set of all the kingdom hearts games in one collection that is definitely inevitable over here but yeah this pretty much kind of tells me that kingdom hearts 4 is not going to be releasing in 2022 whatever this 2022 thing is going to be is probably going to be something that leads up to kingdom hearts 4 because nomura did say that there probably would be one more game before kingdom hearts 4 and melody of memory did not count as that game so kingdom hearts 4 yeah i don't know maybe 2024 the earliest i hope oh boy don't do this to me I need to know what's gonna go on next but uh, yeah you know take a glass glass sip of water while you can cuz oh it looks like for 2021 we are going to be in a bit of a dry season and you know what I kind of don't have too much of a problem with this because man we have been fed so good recently you know we finally got Kingdom Hearts 3 and then that kind of split the community in two but then a year later we got Kingdom Hearts 3 remind which is pretty awesome but also had people kind of questioning a lot of things Things. But hey, you know, then we got Kingdom Hearts Dark Road, which people were kind of iffy about. And then, of course, we got Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory recently, which people are also really the Man, what the heck's of all the negativity recently? You know what? I think everybody just got way too old over here. You're all starting to look like Zayn or getting bald and whatnot. Like, what's going on over here? Let's try to bring that positivity back, united as one. My friends are my power over here. However, though, um, yeah, no, we, we've been uh, fed pretty good recently, not to mention when you look at the Mora's like little work schedule right now, your man's a busy dude. He's got the whole Kingdom Hearts series to work on. He's got Final Fantasy VII Remake to work on. He's also the director that's in charge of the World Ends With You anime, and not to mention there is going to be another World Ends With You announcement, so if that's going to be a sequel or something, you already know the Mora is going to be working on that too. So your man has his plate pretty full over here so i'm kind of glad that they're taking their times to like you know have everything prepared and ready have a proper schedule that way when it's time to release news we will be getting a bunch of news we don't want to make past mistakes where we're just like you know announcing things way too early and then we're just kind of left in the dark like how it usually goes when it comes to the kingdom Hearts series now let us not despair too much after all there is some light within the darkness over here don't forget we got your good pals kingdom hearts union cross and kingdom hearts dark road to keep us company see i told you those games would come in clutch over here and not to mention the fact that of course there is very important lore within those games uh hopefully that will keep us company i mean yeah it took us three years to figure out who the killer was in union cross so i'm not really gonna be too worried about lacking anything really anything kingdom hearts um information wise i mean who knows maybe within this uh one year time period they could put like a kingdom hearts final mix version with the dlc from remind and kingdom hearts three and package all together <laughs> once again and you know darn well i'm probably gonna buy it just for the box and not even opening it. oh man i am a simp for kingdom hearts let me tell you something guys but it's nice to see that kingdom hearts is continuing on to keep up its good pace in terms of games because you know people don't realize we've consistently always had kingdom hearts games you know we've had kingdom hearts one that came out then two years later we got kingdom hearts two then you know a year later we got rechain of memories and you know birth by 
sleep, 3D, 358 over two days, you know, oh my god, we have consistently been getting that Kingdom Hearts treatment, it's just Kingdom Hearts 3 is the big thing that kind of, you know, took a little while, but even during Kingdom Hearts 3 time, we still had things like, you know, the remixes, Union Cross, and all that good stuff, so all I can say is, you know, I am excited for the future, not to mention with this year break, you know, I can finally catch up on some other games, not to mention Square Enix is releasing a bunch of other brand new games as well. There's things I gotta be, and you know, this gives me another opportunity to go back and replay every single Kingdom Hearts game once again. And by every single Kingdom Hearts game, I mean, of course, Kingdom Hearts 2. So, you know, guys, what I want to know in the comments section below is, you know, hey, what do you think about Kingdom Hearts taking a bit of a hiatus break in terms of news for 2021? And of course, what do you think the big project is going to be for the Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary in 2022? So, you know, guys, leave all your comments in the comments section below. If you like the video, make sure to give it a big, massive thumbs up as it helps me and the channel out quite immensely. You aren't already, you can follow me on my Twitter. Same thing as my YouTube channel, which is Ed the Wiz. I am also on Instagram, which is Mad Swag12345, where I post all the good stuff. Discord link will be in the description below. So until next time, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say bye, pal. I promise we'll see you soon.